welcome to Blood Bowl. I'm Complacent Badger. I'm Sierra Kilo. And we are watching The Stalking Dead versus The Nordic Kneecappers. I, uh, I just finished playing this game. Yes, yes you did. We're trying to get recordings out fast. I, I like it. Mm-hmm. Little little midweek Blood Bowl action, no big deal. Yep, don't have to do five videos in a row. Uh, we are recording this uh, before all the week eight ones are finished, but it doesn't really apply to this because neither of those teams are playing this game. So outstanding. So uh, a little bit of rain on that that hot hot metal floor, no big deal. Yeah, no big deal. We'll be fine. Everything's good. So the pouring rain, I was figuring, wasn't going to have much of an effect on this match. There wasn't going to be too, too much pitch-catch action in the first place. Though I've been warming up to the idea of a little bit of pitch-catch the last couple weeks. Yeah, the real, the real thing that it affects is the uh, non-agility teams and their pickups. Right. I think it has more effects on them than it does really the, the passing game, because usually yep. people in the passing game do uh, simple passes, not too crazy, right. at least so, in this league. Yeah, so the first thing I did was kick it off the fucking field with a guy with kick. That's, that's strong. So that's good. That was, so I, I knew exactly how this was going to go. And it, went, uh, uh, it cleared up real fast. Right, so that was exactly what happened. I was going to put it deep in the corner, hoping that it stayed rainy, and then I got, it's a perfect day for Blood Bowl. One extra bounce. Mm. And then it bounced out. And I was like, well, that's terrible, because I was banking on him having maybe to burn a reroll. Mm-hmm. Um, so I'm pretty excited about having that guy pinned in the corner again with, uh, with two guys, so. Yeah, uh, he actually did a really good job of, uh, that opening, uh, that opening play right there. He's got all your guys tangled up. He, uh, ate up as much yardage as possible initially, so this, this might be a tough dig for you. Oh, yeah, he's, he's Ooh, all over it. Not after that. That'll be okay. Uh... Spoiler alert, there were a couple regens this match. <laughs> so, Thorgrim the Predator going down. So I figured he had the ball up pretty close. I'm going to try to infiltrate uh, and see if I can't knock that ball loose. And he's, I was planning on him maybe being a uh, bit of a receiver mm -hmm. if if I could get that, but... Get a little backfield Whoa. presence if I can. No big deal. Dead, re dead. but regen. So that's un un undead. Yes, that was pretty pretty lucky for the undead. Just kidding. We had a defibrillator. Ooh. So this is a high pen game already. Oh my goodness. So he's kind of creating that cage real fast. Looks like he only has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight players remaining on the pitch. Unless my count is off. Uh, no, he started with 11, so he's, he's down to... He's got nine. I, I miscounted. Yeah. I missed the mummy. Brett's kind of okay. consuming him right now. The, his second mummy. So he's got a, he's got a guard mummy, mm -hmm. which, uh, which I forget about and uh, does, does terrible things later in the match. So that'll be good. You can, yeah, he's we in, can watch that happen. He's in a tough predicament right now. Unfortunately, you've you've taken out a lot of. Uh, was that a zombie? Yeah, at least it was one zombie. Taking out that white really takes down his uh, capabilities. Right. What one of the big weaknesses of this team is that zombies are basically useless for anything but just tying people up. So. Well, he did a really good job of getting zombies with uh, block. So he just like. Again, frustrated me with that. I mean, not as bad as the first time, mm -hmm. but, uh, you know, I do have both of my werewolves with break tackle because of my last match with him. Mm. He was just super pissed that I couldn't do anything Ooh. with those guys. He'd just suck them up. Oh, and look at that. What a Rolls what a one and then uh, uses a team reroll because of tackle and gets two sixes. That lightning bolt, nice, nice timing on that. Give him a look at that. I yeah, it gives him really good chance to not getting a set assaulted, and he has to. You have to at least do something, and there you go, burning a reroll just to get there. So uh, that was a really good play, especially in the kind of a last ditch, knowing that the noose is tightening. So he had to get out of there. 
Yeah, and that was super good. He uh, he did have to burn a reroll, but he's got so freaking many of them, it didn't mm -hmm. really matter. Um, and I was getting frustrated in general with like his not having to use a whole lot of rerolls. So now I'm on the in the middle of the pitch, just digging as much as I can to get anything going on. Yeah, now he's got a little bit of an uphill climb. He might get lucky with a uh, dodge right down the line, but that'll that'll be real tough. But between dodge and having a team reroll, it's not ridiculous. Probably be the first move that I would do because there's not really any way to save this player. Obviously, get right, and that was one of the. He opts to go the other route. Um, does oh, he have the distance? And that is, dude, he's so far away from all of my yeah, guys. That might have been the best route. We'll see. I really, yeah, even I really like my, my high the, ability stuff. Yeah, I really think the dodge plus the uh, team reroll. This this might have been a good risk to take just to get that touchdown quick. But uh, if if he can survive this, then I'll eat my words. Yeah, but you look at this. Watch watch what I have to do. So that was a going for it on one player, a yeah. going for it on another player. That guy, I guess, if you push him into there. But still, this uh, putting up gear in Nordicson doesn't really. Oh, now I see. Got it. Disregard all. Yeah, that was a good move. That was also the only result that would have put him down. Yeah, because that going guy for it. That guy doesn't have. That was the one guy that doesn't have tackle, so yeah. that was the only result that could have put that player down. But my, I was like, worst case scenario, I can get him into the middle there. But mm -hmm. I didn't have. Uh, I couldn't use frenzy because I didn't have a follow up because I already had it going for it. Yeah. So, I definitely like I the the amount of going for it that went into that was pretty silly. Yep. And now he's actually not in a bad position to keep you from scoring. Though he did not score, he could prevent you from scoring, which kind of will just reset it at halftime. Right. Except that I get the ball after the half, so... Yeah, uh, but uh, you've taken... I think you're... Uh, you've only had knockouts, though. It's like, your player's a little bit more important than his, and but right. with only it being knockouts, you should get them back. So we've seen his wizard with the lightning bolt. Um, he got one for Master two Chef. Of Master Chef, two Bloodweiser babes, and an Igor were his incentives. So I think it was six hundred and thirty or six hundred and ninety thousand. And if I'm not mistaken, the Igor is a reroll of failed regen, right? If I'm not mistaken, I think that's correct. It's been a long time since I played Necromantic. Yeah. But it's, uh, yeah, it's the same, oh. I guess, the same deal with it as an apothecary, so that would make sense. Mm -hmm. uh, the auto. Yep, and he's opting to uh, just zone defense you, dwindle you down, and hopefully he can get a better chance at this in the half. Really, all you can do at this point, so. He's playing a stellar game. I haven't really seen a single mistake. Yeah. I mean, he's doing, he did a really good job, and I mean, just, I think that I made a mistake by letting that, uh, letting him get out, but when you look at the roles that it was, I mean, you know, he, I did have a guy in the back, but he, he was like super tactful about getting that, like the amount of stuff that I had to do to get anywhere near him, I mean, and, and I got lucky that, I, I mean, I had some lucky roles to get him, so I think that, you know, he did exactly what he needed to do. Yeah. Hindsight being 2020, I think that line that just you know taking that one really bad dodge, you know, ending up being a negative one altogether, and then just doing uh, going down the line for like three or four dodges might have been the way to do it, just to get a score and get it over with. Yeah, but that you know, my my idea was just to make make that decision tough for him, mm -hmm. you know, and you did exactly so. that. And that's that, you know, good side, bad side of Blood Bowl, where my, my job is to make his decisions tough, and his job is to make my decisions tough. And I think we both did a fairly good job of that. And uh, just based on, you know, that, that werewolf hitting, hitting the right role, and it made it, made it possible. Yeah, so far it's been a really good game. He's doing what he can. He's, his numbers are down. And it looks like he may not be able to stop you. A couple zombies are capable of stopping you right now. 
Yeah, I was just trying to extend it as much as I could. I used that blitz to knock a player down and then tie up the Somebody. ghoul. I think that guy has... Is that my werewolf with uh, tackle, or is that the other one? That's uh, This one's tackle. Okay. Nice. So I think I would have boxed you with these two zombies, put one here, put one on the other side, and then, then probably hit you. Yep. Uh, so here's the funny thing. Now, when I looked at this the first time, without picking up the ball, mm -hmm. that, that lineman has the movement allowance to get into the end zone. Mm -hmm. But if I pick up the ball for whatever reason, well, uh, with, two re with two going for it. Yeah, it's, it's, because, it's because you have to take a step to the right, which reduces your movement. You see what yeah. I'm saying? It's not all diagonal. That's, Had he been yeah. here, you could have done it. But because you yeah. have to take one laterally, you can't get the touchdown. Yep, and that's what happened was I, I looked at this. So all of this stuff that I'm doing at this point oh. is so that, yeah. Regen so I killed it. two people this game. Quote, unquote. Right. But, uh, so, and then, I, and then I click on the guy and I go, well, fuck. I don't have the movement allowance after all. So, uh, so that last turn was trying to make something possible and then I you know uh, so I did a you know the smart thing by not taking an unnecessary pickup making some dodges and re-rolls all you know once when you know you can't score just fucking let it go you mm -hmm, know what I mean mm -hmm. um, but there were a couple things that I did that I had I known that it wasn't even possible I would I would have made a maybe a couple different hits or, or whatever but uh, bottom line that's what happened he he played so well that half. I think that was a difference of uh, just teams. Your team is just so much more skilled than his that uh, that's where the kind of he was always on the back foot, but he played so well that it wasn't it wasn't just ridiculously one sided. Yep, that was a silly good game. So the uh, Bloodweiser babes uh, weren't a factor because he didn't have any stuns. Mm, yeah, he didn't have any KOs, so nobody came back. And then uh, it, looks uh, like, KOs, yeah. it looks like you only got one of your KOs back, and it was, uh, of course, Call Winslow off the pitch. Right. So Racism. Yeah, Rampant racism. You lost two, and he's lost two, but one of his is a zombie. So uh, that's not terrible for either of you. Right, but so that gives him nine on the pitch, and... That's right, because he's working mins, isn't he? And I got 11. Yeah, that's going to be tough to stop you, especially after that quick knockout right there. Yep, so he got one reroll from me. I lost one. I get... Uh, oh. That was stupid, because I already used my reroll, mm -hmm. and then... Fuck me. You, yeah. Uh, but I did set up my agility four guy to pick up the as as the he's going to pick up the ball. Mm -hmm. Um, so I'm not in a bad spot right now. I'm not super happy that that happened, but yeah, it's definitely going to take a turn or two away from you. Yep. And then I I set up wrong on that guard mummy this time, so that's he's just beating the shit out of me up there. Mm -hmm. Um, but I mean. He, again, again, he just played that super first half and doing a really good job. Those two mummies are great. Had to burn a reroll on, uh, on the pickup. I didn't get my pro reroll because he knocked my, oh, your leader. Rabbit, my rabbit runner out uh, and uh, I didn't get him back. So I'm running. I still had, I had four rerolls, and I've used two in the first two turns. Yeah, so your, lead, is, your leader's off the pitch. So that's why you didn't get that one. And Yep. That's so that's, yep. and that's unlike me to burn through that many rerolls. Uh, so that's. Well, I mean, you've only used one. Two. No, you've only used. Because the kickoff cause... event. He stole one from you. With he that stole hat. one, but the kick the kickoff event was, uh, brilliant coaching. So I got a reroll for that. Oh, uh, okay. I didn't. Care. So I used a reroll for Brett, and then I used a reroll for the pickup. Mm. Uh, so this is kind of like, I'm, I'm a little bit frustrated. I'm a little bit spread out. Um, still feeling confident overall. Uh, I've got, I don't have a traditional cage, but he's not, he's not applying a lot of pressure either. 
Um, right. Though he Based does, on an allowance. He does have a decent zone over here to keep you from taking that wing uh, too quickly. And he's starting to get presence with two zombies and a ghoul on your runner. He's not there yet, but uh, he's making his way. Looks like he either you engaged him, I didn't see it, or he engaged you. He, over there. he engaged me. Yeah, probably not the best bet. He probably just kept keep pressuring the ball carrier. So I was lucky to get Brett up. Up, yeah. Oof, another knockout. That's gonna be tough. Dodge helping out. So I had to use oh. that break tackle to get there. Yeah, this. He's getting really um. You're getting really lucky with these pen results, man. These players shouldn't be as penned as quickly as you're doing it. You have nothing to help you. Oh, I I know, and it's it's silly. And I've just like when I set up my guys over there on that left side, mm -hmm. total mis total mistake. I doubled up and I didn't get the dice that I wanted. Um. You know, left the left the runner a little bit, but I figured that even if he got the ball knocked i had the i was going to go for a pass play to the left uh was what i'm what i'm setting up here mm -hmm. even if uh just to get that wing a little bit clear i said i've got four guys in the center if he loses the ball he loses the ball mm -hmm. i think i could knock some people around that's a smart safety back there see how it's that safety i mean granted you're trying to run receiver as well but this guy is not only helping be a last line of defense but taking two guys away right so if he plays this right, he can get maybe a hit on your ball carrier, but it's going to be real tough and be tough to actually get anything out of it. Yeah. This might be So a Brett swung a couple times at his zombie, no dice. That's good. That's good for him. Uh, go, okay, going for the single against him. Oof. Yeah. So he, he gets the move... He went for the movement after the uh, mm -hmm. trying the to just blitz. try to tie you up. Probably not worth it, just because uh, that's a quick fix right there. Granted, he might have been hoping that you would pushed him this way instead of you know away, but last yeah. ditch effort. If he was going to go for that dodge, you might as well just go for the the two die against the runner. You know what I mean? I I agree with that. Go go um, all the way or not at all. Right. But uh, so all I did was had to move myself out of the way, and it was one going for it to to get in. Yep. But he did injure uh, one of my players with a mummy. Mm -hmm. Got himself two star star player points out of it. So yeah, now I've got. Yeah, that was a badly hurt. I think. It was a badly hurt, no long term effect. So that's two of them in there now. Yep. So you got four so, players missing because you didn't get your guys. He got all his guys back because of Budweiser babes. So, or actually, none of them were because he's, of Budweiser yeah. Babes. They all would have made so it no matter what. Right, it's nine and nine. Yeah, he rolled really well. Mm -hmm. He has a chance to get a touchdown. You, you scored pretty fast. It's gonna be it's gonna be tough. You got more skills than he does on your players, but uh, he could tie it up. So that guard mummy again. Uh, I didn't didn't forget about him this time, but mm -hmm. it didn't do me any good to remember. Yeah, he's uh, really using those mummies to the great advantage. Kind of, yeah. oh, that's really unfortunate. And he did all the right stuff first, so there's not really yep. much you can do about that. That happens. And and watch this next series of events. Is you're going to be super impressed with him, because uh, I was super frustrated with him because he kept making really good decisions and making my job super hard. So that was a going for it. That's a werewolf with tackle. Mm -hmm. So, so yeah. I go, mark the ball carrier, good. Trying to set him up. You got both with tackle. So that's really good choices right there for you. Um, I might have gotten a little risky if you had an extra go for it and be there and mark the ball. Um, but I know you're really low on rerolls, so that may not be worth the risk. Yeah, I'm looking at this. I got I got and then he's just no, nope, I don't I don't give a fuck about yep, your. Yeah, just bounces. No and that, and that's the only reason that I would have tried to get both just cuz I knew I had the strength advantage and he had no support. Uh and right. actually if you would have done that, he would not have picked up that ball. And he would have had to dodge into to pick up the ball too. Exactly. Huh? Yep. He would have still passed the dodge cuz he rolled a 6, but had the same roll happened for the pickup, he would have failed it. 
Yep. So that was uh, that was a, a good observation, and I didn't even think about that until just now. Mm -hmm. I was in my mind, it was risky enough to yeah. And he's just no, nope, no big deal. It's a it's a two plus to take a you know a, a negative modifier on two rolls on him. For me, right. if I still got the reroll, I'm gonna do it. Yep. But uh, of was, course, hindsight 2020. Yep. And you just I mean he's just doing a super good job. As I'm I'm doing my best to mark these partial players. Partial cage, but two of them being mummies kind of makes up for it. Yeah, 100% true. So, again, get that guy off. Get my guy with tackle. Nice. I am hoping and then for the best. He still has this route right here, but you did uh, keep him. Uh, man, I don't know if you had the movement allowance, but plug in. I guess you do have that werewolf ready. So, yeah, that's probably the better place to plug because that were Okay. Yeah, that's going to be. But you still got this guy. Right. So my goal right here was to, and I was mad at myself for moving the lineman first to Mark, but then I brought down that other guy, and that the guy who's off to the left by himself mm -hmm. has pass block. That's my agility. Oh, yeah, field. the uh, right here. Yeah, just in case he gets wily with this white or something. Right. So my goal is to like create a line that he can't penetrate, cause, so that he's forced to run it in, and. Uh, you know, trying to take the f pass out. You made him use that team reroll because of that tackle, so that's uh, just as planned. Ooh. Finally. Very unfortunate. Just trying to get that guy out of the way to close the cage, so that's an opening. That that double attacker down might be the the last nail in the coffin. Trying to take out that receiver. <laughs> it's his only chance. Oh. That's that's all of my guys. All yeah. of my guys yep. couldn't put him down. Yep. He's at a negative two to catch, and then he's got a whole lot to do uh, to get out of there. Yeah, and that's the smart thing to do, blitz him, because he, has, he doesn't have the dodge. You did everything you could have, so if he scores this, there's not much more you could have done. But he is hard-pressed to score this. I think a mummy taking this guy out. Leaves it open for a handoff. And yeah, but he's and if he does the, hand, the he his see. only his only chance of scoring is you go here yep, and then there, you go. there he goes. Okay, so do ah, I wouldn't have done it in that in order, but that's fine. It it worked. All right, so holy crap, Stalking Dead played amazing. Yeah, asshole. <laughs> <laughs> That was <laughs> that was his, that was easily his best game of the season. Both both of uh, both of us were cursing each other the entire match. I'm I'm positive of it. Uh, I don't think that this score really truly shows uh, how strong he played. Yeah. Uh, or I don't know. Depends on what you guys think of me. It could show exactly how well he played. Kept me to one and uh, just. I menaced him just enough to keep him from getting his one one touchdown. You know he what was, I mean? He was so close to two touchdowns. I mean that was that was a uh, it was a couple turns of events. You did everything well, and uh, I I really do think that game just came down to uh, the team value. Really, nothing else. Yep. And he did ask me on like the one of the last turns if he should have tried to pick up that ball and I uh on the in the first half and I go no man you did a, a good job of I mean not pick not trying to pick up the ball yeah I think I think he played a nearly flawless game I would have to watch that game again to find anything that he like truly messed up on maybe a couple things that I would have done differently just because that's just how I play but yeah that I would I would call that one of the closest to flawless games of the season yeah, he did. He did a super good job that that entire time. Yeah, that was that was great. I'm very glad to see that because that was uh, I was losing a little bit of faith in the Stalking Dead and their abilities, but they have definitely showed that they can play a really, really strong game against a really strong opponent and uh, come out looking pretty good about it. Yeah, and I think that the big thing that he has is he got those two mummies. Mm -hmm. One of the mummies has guard. Did a super job with that. He has those zombies on the wings tying up my guys for a one-to-one -one with block mm -hmm. so I don't have the advantage and they're 
far enough away from everything where I don't want to put a second guy on him to free him up. So I just say, well, you know what? If you want to play nine-on-nine nine ball, I'll play nine-on-nine nine ball. Which is great because most of his team value is wrapped up around the ball and not on those wings. Those zombies are only 40,000. You're investing a lot more in uh, those wings than he is. Right, so I had to pay a lot of attention to where my skills were at so mm -hmm. that he couldn't either smash with a mummy or whatever. And he still did a really good job of hitting uh, because there were times when I go, well, I just have to sacrifice a guy with not a lot of stats to keep that mummy from doing bad things to somebody more valuable, not necessarily for the team, but for the play that's going on. Yeah, honestly, I don't think any, I don't see, I haven't seen anybody this season uh, control the line against you that well. Yeah, it was really good. Uh, overall, great game. Again, uh, really glad to have watched it, and I uh, hope you both had fun. And uh, I, I, I had fun. I feel better now that I watched the replay, because I, fe I felt like I did way worse during it, just because nothing was going right. You know, when everything's going wrong, mm -hmm. There's, you sometimes forget that maybe not everything's going wrong, it's just nothing's going right, you know? Mm -hmm. So. Well, good game, and we will see you next time. Later.